Hi guys. So we just made a ladybug and now I want to teach you guys how to make uh, one of my favorite animals, a snail, because I love snails. I just think they're super cute. I love their little eyeballs and their little shells. So I'm going to use a craft stick and I painted my craft stick green. You can use a plain craft stick if you want or if you have a colored one that works or you can decorate one with markers or crayons or paint, however you wanna make it. So I'm gonna start with that. That's gonna be the snail's body. Now to make the snail's shell, I'm gonna use a really, really long strip of paper towels. Like really long, okay? Gonna double it up, because you want it to be thick. Now we're gonna start twisting it, okay? You see how we're twisting it? And once you get a little bit of it twisted, then we're gonna start to roll it. So we're gonna roll it in like that. If you need a little help from a grown up or an older friend, then it's okay to ask for a little help. All right, so we're gonna roll it and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and roll it and twist it and twist it and twist it and roll it some more you know what i want to know how do snails get their whole body inside of that little shell doesn't seem like they would fit to me but they seem to do a pretty good job of it all right we're almost done and you can make your shell really big if you want to make it smaller, then you would use less paper towels. You can also use um, the paper that comes in packages, the brown paper that comes in packages. You can use that. That works really well, too. All right, I'm almost done with this shell. I'm almost to the end. All right. Do you see how it's going around and around like a snail shell? once you have that done, you can clip the end. Um, I like to use a bobby pin, or you can use a clothespin. Anyway, you'll clip it, and then after you clip it, you're gonna use a little glue. Now, I put some water in my glue. You don't want it, uh, you don't want it too thick. I'm gonna take a brush. And we're gonna take a little of our glue and we're gonna go over this all the way, saturate it all the way through so it's really wet. So you want it to all stick together really well. Mm. I think I might have made this one too big. But once you get that done and it's all saturated, make sure you do both sides. You want both sides to stick really well. Okay, and turn it over, do the other side. Ooh. I really like, and I know this might seem a little weird, the trails that snails leave, I think they look sparkly, like somebody made glitter trails all over the ground outside. I just think, it's like you know how spider webs when they have dew on them in the morning are really beautiful? I feel that way about snail trails too. All right, so once we have this nice and saturated, where we know it's gonna stick together, you're gonna put it somewhere to dry. And the sun is really good as long as it's not too windy because you don't want it to blow away. If you have a nice, dry, warm place in your house, that works. Or if you have a nice place in your yard that's sheltered from the wind, or if you have a balcony, any place like that. Yeah. So you have it all together, just like that. So I'm going to put this one aside to dry because I have one I made earlier that's already dry. So we're going to put this one aside. And I'm going to 
show you the one that I made this morning. This one is a little bit smaller. This one's already dry. So I'm gonna take this, but before I attach this to this, I wanna put the eyes on this. Cause you know how snails have those little eyes on their head like that? So I took a piece of wire. You can use a, a pipe cleaner, a fuzzy bender. You can use whatever you have, or you can just put eyes on your thing. It doesn't have to be on long things. So I'm gonna take a little tape. And I'm going to tape it so my eyes don't fall off. Little piece of just scotch tape. And I'm going to tape my little eyeball antennas on this way. Make sure it's all the way on there. There. That's really good tape. That's strong. Okay, so now I have my eyeballs. But I need them to stand up straight. So I'm going to stand them up straight. Like that. Got little eyeballs. And I'm going to take my snail shell. And I'm going to use a little glue. And I'm going to put it on the back of my snail. Just like that. You can use regular white glue. You can use tacky glue if you have that. Just use whatever you've got. And I'm going to put my snail shell right on the back of my snail. And you can paint your shell before you put it on, or you can paint it after you put it on. I'm going to paint mine after I put it on. So I'm going to take my little plate. And I'm gonna put some paints on my little plate while I'm waiting for this to dry. I have red paint, and I have yellow paint. I have kind of a teal turquoise paint, and I have purple paint because I want my snail shell to be like a rainbow. I love rainbows. All right, you dry yet? Yes. All right, I'm gonna take a medium-sized brush to do this, but you use whatever you've got. Let me put my paints on my plate. Put a little bit of purple. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my teal kind of turquoise color. Put a little bit of my yellow on there. And then I'm gonna put some red. I'm gonna start with the red, because red is the first color of the rainbow. Come here, little snail. He's so cute. I'm gonna start with my red. And I'm gonna paint the middle of my shell red. Just like that. And you can use whatever kind of paint you have if you have tempera paint, that works really well. Now, I'm gonna rinse my brush off so my colors don't mix together on my brush. I don't mind if they mix together on my snail shell, but I don't want them to mix together on my brush because then it won't be the color that I'm using. Put some yellow. My paint is very thick. I'm using acrylic paint. Um, I wouldn't advise that you use acrylic paint if you're younger because acrylic paint can stain your clothes and it doesn't come off. All right, I'm gonna rinse off my brush and now I'm going to use some of that tealish turquoise color. Little bit there, a little bit there. Do you guys see how my colors are kind of blending? How the red and the yellow is kind of makes a little orange on there. And the, the teal turquoise color is almost giving me a little bit of green when it mixes with the yellow. Okay, rinse that off. I'm gonna finish it off with my purple. Oh, 
I really like purple. Here we go. Little purple there, little purple there. And the, the paper that you've twisted, it's got some little crinkles and stuff, so you might not be able to get the paint all the way in there. If you can't, don't worry about it. It's good just the way you make it. All right, so when you make yours, you can do the other side too. I'm just gonna start with this one side and I'll finish the other side later. But that's how you make a really cute little snail. Hello, snail. So cute. All right, guys, I hope you have fun with this and I hope to see you soon and I love you very much. Have a great day. Bye.